It's beautiful. <laughs> it's probably the most photographed spot in all of Kennebunkport. Pick any summer day, it's rare not to find huge crowds stopping to get a glimpse or snap photos of Walker's Point, a picturesque outcropping owned by the Bush family since the 1870s when purchased by President George H.W.'s great, great grandfather. David Davis Walker built the first very large mansion closest to the road. And then um, George Herbert built the very large house at the end that's still there today. On several occasions since then, Walker's Point has gone up for sale. But in each case, a member of the Bush family has stepped in to buy it. The latest, George H.W., who has owned it now since the 1970s. But then in the 80s, when Mr. Bush became president, that is when Walker's Point and Kenny Bunkport, for that matter, were essentially put on the map. When President Bush was president here, it definitely made things a little bit harder to get around. Not terrible, but you know, you knew that somebody important was here. Throughout Bush 41's presidency, then followed by his son, number 43, the Summer White House, as it has become known, hosted many of the world's most important people, presidents, prime ministers, queens. But the next night, it might be just one of the neighbors or a community fundraiser. One of the classic things that we always joked about over the years where the, the Bushes were so gracious and generous to invite anybody who happened to be in town or on the property or a friend of a friend to dinner. Steve Kingston owns the local clam shack, often delivering or helping prepare seafood for all sorts of occasions. It was a classic thing that 41 would always do is add a few more people and so we'd constantly be calling me saying, can you bring this out to the house? Oh, how lucky are we that we live in a, in a place and, and have this genuine American hero living right on the point, and he opens his house to the public. It's It really is fantastic. And for those who've seen the inside, they say the house itself is every bit as inviting as the bushes themselves. Nothing opulent, but very cozy, comfortable. It's a family home, and it's a summer home, and it still has that bright, easy, breezy feel to it. It's grand in some rooms, but it has more of a cottage feel. But the dining area in the, in the, in the, in the living room is, is, reminds me of just a very humble uh, um, beach cottage. It might be the most public-private residence in town. Years now, since either Bush was president, people continue to flock to the scene at point, if for nothing else, a quick glance at history. So where in the United States does this happen? So it has changed a lot about Kennebunkport, but I honestly do feel it's for the best.